I don't need a pet cow per day. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here, so today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. How oh, this is going to be a rough one. Here's the deal. So everybody knows Kangertech, right? Like, they don't need an introduction. If you've been vaping for the past two, three years, and you have, like, experienced the whole starter kit realm before the whole pod base systems, you're very much aware of this company. Most people would probably agree with me, but I'm sure there's a handful that don't. This is the pioneer in the whole Chinese vapor type devices. Kangertech and Aspire and a little bit of Joytech were really the whole introductionary situations when you got into vaping. However, the last year and a half has been nothing but letdowns from this company. Everything that I've done a review on from Kangertech has been absolutely atrocious well may maybe not the ranger kit wasn't terrible but then the i rdta what the like how oh god there's so many questions that are not gonna go answered there's just so many questions i have for this company that are all going to go unanswered i would have to say the best product that they've came out with in the past two years has probably been the five six and that is another product that you never hear about. It was a 518650 battery box mod, kind of large, but not as, as large as what it sounds like it would be. And it also came with a tank that had a glass that would tint depending on how hot it was. And then it had three different coils very much ahead of its time. I still to this day don't see any companies doing this, but the coil itself had three different coils inside of it. And then you could change how many coils you're running. I can't remember if you put three different juices in there or not. I, I don't think so. There There's an idea for you, Kanger Tech. You guys are all about taking risks and failing at them. Kanger Tech would be the poster child of failed products and then continue to fail products. What we're going to be looking at today is called the Ripple Kit. Basically, it's a box mod and a tank on top. And oddly enough, when you open up this box, they're already put together. Usually you'll have the tank on the side or the tank in a separate little box. This they included everything. I'm really hoping, hoping, legitimately, not being an asshole, that Kanger Tech finally got it right. It's just like SIG, great company when they came off the jump. Everything is friggin' garbage metal and plastic and don't get me wrong, I like plastic, but oh my God, sit the fuck down. Like, just sit down. Enjoy your fantastic life change brought by vaping. Flip it. On the front of the box, it says a ripple kit, and then they're just highlighting some information here. 3.5 mil capacity, dual 18650 batteries, and then max 200 watt output. Really nothing on the top of the box or the bottom on the side. It just has their social media and their website. I don't even think anybody visits this website anymore. I, I can't even see anybody even buying a Kanger Tech. I, I don't know any stores that even carry this company. And then on the flip side of that, lots of information. So I'll just go ahead and give that a freeze frame so you can read that. NR mesh coils Canthal 0.18. I would assume by NR they would mean nichrome, but that's not the proper abbreviation. And it looks like there is actually, I know you see that, the misprint right here. It's like a sticker, but it's not. Actually, it is. This is a sticker on here. Well, this should be interesting. It's like finding a hidden treat. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, before we take that off and read what's underneath, Manufacturer information and then your copyright scratch and sniff lemonade battery flavor and scented batch IA25. Hmm, how can I get that off? That's going to be hard because it's paper. It almost looks like everything that is on the sticker itself is actually on the bottom, but it's doing one of those numbers where you pull it off and it's kind of pulling off the first layer. Let's see if we get lucky here. Up, oh, up, oh, yep. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Look at that. It's like a little gift. It's a little foggy, but that's okay. Well, part of the sticker didn't come off. That's cool. All right. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea what is different here. There has to be something different because why would they put a sticker over the original? But again, I'm going to let Bree read over that and then see what the differences are. In the meantime, let me just take this stuff out of the box 
And then there it is. Get a little manual of sorts. The whole mod with the actual tech. Wow, that is like weighs 13 ounces. On the little side compartment jammy. Inside the box, you're gonna get a little accessory box on the side, which is gonna micro USB, which you're gonna use to charge and update the firmware. You're also gonna get an extra bubble glass and then a coil. Now the coil for this, surprisingly enough, looks like a baby beast. I think the last Kangratech coil that I did a review on, it might've been the Ranger, had the same type of coil situation. Almost identical, but again, I may be confusing this. There was a device that I did a review on to where the coil itself didn't have any kind of writing on it, so I had no idea what it was. And this is the NR Mesh. Probably the same exact coil that's on the inside, considering that's what it says on the back of the box. Inside your little envelope jammy looks to be just a user manual for the device, which is very, very, very thick. Battery safety card, and then a, a warranty card. Then you also get an authenticity card of how to check whether or not what you have is real. I wanna show you what bothers me the most about this. Opening this up, that's how it was. Granted, listen, I get it. I do. It doesn't really matter because you're just going to screw it down. But why not have that screwed down all the way? Take the tank off. We'll go over that shortly. And I don't know about you, but the first thing I think of when I see this is the Fuchai 213. However, the buttons are located different. It's just really the shape of it that is very similar. But this is plastic. And I don't know if you guys watch me on my live videos, but I'm always jamming out with this guy, which is the Aug Vape Jammy. Love it. Plastic dual battery. But this isn't really black per se versus this. This should be fun. Kind of pumped. Let's go over the tank first. Looks like they got a little bit of better machining going on here. Knurling on the top and the bottom, and then to adjust the airflow is very, very easy to spin. Locks all the way to the right, locks all the way to the left. However, when you lock it either way, all the way, it does absolutely nothing. All the way to the left closes it, all the way to the right closes it. So you have to go somewhere right in the middle. And then on the bottom of the tank, to fill up the sub ohm tank, you're just gonna push where the arrow is, and as you can see, that is silicone, so in due time of using this and filling this up and juice running through that, that may turn a bit yellow. However, there is a replacement inside the bag, inside the little accessory pouch. Drip tip on the top is gonna be an 810 configuration. Pop that off. Now, you saw before a customer walked in, it doesn't look horrible, but whatever finish they got going on is just, uh, it's so good. Mm. I mean, it is a tank that does come with it. It's not just buying the tank by itself, but even if you were to clean that off, that's not going to do anything. That's that's just the condition that the metal is in. Ooh. Oh, my. You're going to need that knurling on there because... Whoa! I legitimately cannot get that off. Let's try one more thing. I got a little secret way of doing this. That's not gonna work. Oh my God, yo. Holy shit. What the fuck, man? That's gonna break. That's 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 exactly what's gonna happen there. That's gonna break. Okay, I, I'm not I'm not gonna play with it. Same exact call that was in the other one. Let's just saturate this. There's really not a whole lot I could do here, just considering the situation that I'm in. So anytime you get a brand new coil, just saturate that up. Let that sit for a little bit. Actually, let me clean this up and then I'll bring it right back. So let that sit for about five minutes to fully saturate. Very, very simple, extremely lightweight. Like this has to be the lightest of all plastic mods that I've ever touched. On the back side, they do have a little bit of a logo. On the top, you got your centered 510. Should allow you to fit a fairly large RDA on top of there. 28, no problem whatsoever. Wow, how weird is that? So take a look at the 510 threading. It's actually recessed into the pin. I have never seen that before in anything. So you have to be careful. You know, always go backwards before you go forward. 28 millimeter brings it right to the edge. Your fire button is in an extremely awkward position. It's not quite on the side it's on the front and the side i guess you could use your index or your thumb to fire this screen's going to be located here you do have a little plastic piece to protect that up down and menu select and of course let's take this back door off unlike the tesla db 209 you do have a little magnet on here to give you that extra securing fashion it's not anything serious but positive here and then negative here just like that 
goes on. Okay, so we have a very, very basic screen here. In intermediate is only temperature. Nickel, titanium, stainless steel, do it yourself, do yourself too, and then exit. You're not really gonna wanna use intermediate if you're gonna be using this in temperature control mode. To get into the menu function, once you're inside of the mod, you're gonna hold this select button down and then that's gonna bring up the options. To lock, you press the up and down, that'll lock it. You have your work time, which is how long you hold down the fire button and then brightness, and then back to the main screen. Since we're not using temperature control, we're gonna press down and the fire button together, and then bring that over to expert, and now you have your memory functions, and then holding down this button again is gonna bring you through the same exact menu that was on the previous interface. So do it again, and then we're gonna bring it up to beginner because I guess that's exactly what I am. 200 watts, it does round robin, but it's very, very slow getting there all right so we're gonna put this tank on here once again that is the kanger tech ripple kit let's bring it on the top back on top with the ripple oh it's what 11 watts you know damn why i'm getting shit. <laughs> let's see this little plastic thing is coming off i am not gonna lie to you I am really pumped up because of the weight of this, and I really like the aesthetics. What I don't like is the screen, but that's another story. 53 watts on the stock coil that comes with this that I could not get the glass off of. You guys wanted me to do the review on the sub -ohm tank that it comes with, so... Is it just me, or is the color of that vape very strange? Let me do that again. almost like a beige color. Either that or I am losing my damn mind. I'm gonna put a little bit more power through that because I taste absolutely nothing. God, I wish this had a hit count on it. Whoa! Oh my. Oh God. You ever cough so hard that you feel it in your arms? Eyes are tearing up. Not Wiccan, as good as what I thought a mesh Oh God, it makes my whole body feel weird, that cough. I honestly don't know if I wanna hit that again. Let me let me bring this down a little bit. Bring it down to 43 watts. It's kind of really tipping a scale at absolutely nothing. No, nope. I think the same thing that happened with the Ranger is the same situation now. The sub ohm tank is not good. What I do like is the knurling on it. Now. Because this uses Baby Bee's coils, you can use other coils that are much better than what these Kangertech jammies are. However, you may have a problem getting the glass off of this. Where's the VG now, man? Why isn't there VG around that O-ring that is housing that glass? I'm guys, I can't make it up. Like you saw it, I couldn't get it off. I couldn't even unscrew the top from the bottom. Nice looking tank, nice looking mod. The only reason why I won't use this mod is because of the head counter. Now, before you use the argument, I don't need a hit counter, okay? When you look at your car, your speedometer, right? What's the first thing you say, aside from your speed? The mileage, right? When you're looking at somebody you want to date, whether you're out and about, whether that's a chick, a dude, doesn't really matter, you look at it, they got wrinkles on their face. Guess what? It's a lot of mileage. Or... Just saying going downtown Julie Brown. It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Nobody wants that. I want my cucumber to fit tight in my sandwich. Or how much do you like roast beef subs? Do you want it where the roast beef is coming out of the sub? Or do you want it where it's all packed in tight? With a little bit of horseradish on the top. No lettuce. Save the onions. Maybe a little bit of mayonnaise. Oil and vinegar. That's how I like my roast beef sub. <sighs> you don't want something with a lot of mileage on it. Now, I'm not saying that this mod has a lot of mileage on it. It's just that that's the reason why I like hit counters. It's the same type of deal with, you know, die codes. The reason why they have the total cycles is because when they try to resell it, you can't really bypass that. You know how much it's been used. I just like stats, I do. And that's the only reason why I will not use this device over something else 
that has that. I would rather take the sacrifice of a mod being too heavy to use versus a lightweight one as long as the heavy one has a head counter. I'm also here to tell you that uh, this mod, for whatever reason, reminds me so much of the Fuchai. So much. It is, in fact, Kangratech's best device they've made in the past two years. Now, I don't know if that's saying too little or if it's saying too much. Work on the coils. Matter of fact, don't work on the coils. Contact Smoke. See if you can use some of their coils. I'm nervous to hit this coil. I, I, don't li I don't like it. I don't. I like the look of their tank. I don't like the stock coil. Nope. <laughs> That's been setting this all time. Whoa. <sighs> if I was to rate this whole kit on a 0 to 10 as a starter kit, out the door, ready to go. Keep in mind that it is very, very, very lightweight. Basically, put two 18650s inside of your hand, and that's exactly what this mod feels like. I would probably give this a 6.5 to a 7 for a starter kit, but you have to swap out the coils. If you're going to keep the coils that are in this, which is the starter kit, I know it sounds like I'm sending some mixed messages, I'm probably gonna go five because the coil that this comes with, this may be bad and I could open up the other one and use it. I just have no inclination to do it. The tank, the whole setup is nice. I legitimately like this. Like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not bullshitting you. I have nothing to gain. Whether I hate this or I love it, I would recommend it to somebody that's just getting into vaping if you can get your hands on a different coil. And I can promise you that wherever you buy this from, they're going to have a different option other than this Kangertech coil that comes inside of it. The knurling on the tank is really nice. It is a little bit tight. Don't like that. Like the mob, but don't have a hit counter. So I probably will not use this because I have no way to track what the situation is as far as how much I've used this. But all in all, it's a very, very solid device. And if you're interested in picking this up as a beater and, and just, you know, I, whatever, I, I, I can't remember the price of what I paid for this, but even as just the beater, something that you don't give a shit what happens to it, absolutely, I still recommend it. I, I would give this as a whole out the door probably a 6.5 to be 100% accurate. The mod itself, a 7 to a 7.5. So all in all, it's a solid, lightweight, plastic box mod. I've kept it real. Have you? Check these out.